This fourth video will be the vertical video. In this we will learn in great detail about the elements and the Swarudu Yogis who are looking at this video, they need to, you know, know more and more details about elements for success of their course because that course, that wisdom, that knowledge is the highest wisdom, whatever is necessary for all the courses we are telling over here. So whatever is necessary for you, you can take rest, you can leave elements and its nature, important nature. We will start with the names first we call them in english earth liquid or water fire or light air or gas and space but lord shiva says that a consciousness is very old now because our consciousness is very old if you want to affect a element if you want to change it because here we have seen that one element changes into another elements they keep changing so if you want to change your nature or if you are a swarudha yogi or if you have done art of attraction and if you want to change the nature or the mood of other person in front of you or whose picture you have you have to use the elements but if you use the elements with this names they are not going to work for you so you have to use the original names now these are the sanskrit names now you won't be able to read them so i am reading them in english in i'm reading this names this sounds so you please register the sound in your mind earth element is called prithvi i'm saying again it is called prithvi it's called prithvi water element liquid element is called aap by mistake by not knowing what the scriptures are saying by not understanding completely many people call it jal but jal means water it is not water element it is liquid element liquid is called aap then after that the the light element the fire element is generally known as fire element agni but the original name is tej tej means light it is the light element tej tatva tej tej is the sound tej now this t t t for trunk t for telegram tej tej tatva is the name of fire element vayu is the name of air element vayu huh? and akash is the name of ether element akash is the name of ether element so this names you have to remember prithvi aap tej vayu akash prithvi aap tej vayu akash you have to buy hard it but how will you be able to buy hard this only and only if you are regular with your practice because theory is made proper by practice so keep practicing now these elements in the universe in our body have a natural count because you have to balance them now how will you balance them this is balancing is done by this natural counts so this is what i am teaching you right now natural counts in the universe earth element is only one percent and double of that is water element all over the universe one count more triple than the earth element is light one count more means four times than earth element is air element or gas element in the universe and five times more than that is space element and that is the same in our body our mind and our universe so vedas they say Atta Brahmande, Tata Pinde, Atta Pinde, Tata Brahmande. Whatever is there in the body is there in the universe. And whatever is there in the universe is there in the body. Now, what are the yogic counts? The yogic counts is the yogi by his yoga practice, by mantra, by tantra, by tratak has to influence this counts and he has to reverse it. His mind, his subtle elements, his resonance particle has to be in this count. Earth has to be 5, 
water has to be 4, fire has to be 3, air has to be 2 and space has to be 1. So this is, you can say space, you can say this is space. This is 1 and look at the size of air, little bigger than space, 2, then fire, 3, water 4 and earth 5. Earth has to be biggest. So this is how a yogi has to change the counts. This will give him health, wealth, happiness, prosperity and also enlightenment. Now the best methods to look at this resonance particle, how you can look at it, how that Buddha, Mahavira, Shiva looked at something what modern science says that no instrument can allow you to see. No instrument can allow you to see. They are just knowing this resonance particle and God particle by the effect of it. So how do you see it? So there are different methods. There will be a different video explaining this. Now we talk about the shapes. The shape of earth element is square. Wherever there is square element, it will create the dominance of earth element. So square shape is earth element, curve or like waves, water waves, curve like a petal, rose, lotus petal, rose petal, curves like this S. It rises and it falls, it rises and it falls. That is the nature of life. That is the nature of creation. It rises and it dies. Buddha, Buddha it is said now, it is created and it is destroyed. So curve, wave is the nature of creation of water element triangular shape this is a triangular shape it is the shape of fire element if you make a triangle it is going to affect fire element circle or hexagon or star even star is connected with air element this is a circle hexagon star if you see a star it is also connected with air element and so people who are connected with air element they wear blue color and they wear stars on their shoulders like the the police the military who have to deal with violence then the nature of the shape of space element is either shapeless or dot or oval this is a dot this is an oval shape like a shivalingam, like all the body parts of yours, genital, eyes, nose, your full body is in an oval shape. This is for Akash Tattva. This is the shape of Akash Tattva or no shape at all, shapeless, no form at all is the form of Akash Tattva. Now the color, what is the color of Akash Tattva? The color of Prithvi Tattva is yellow. The color of water element is white, the color of fire element is red and the color of air element is blue and the color of space element is black, no color or all color together. So to digest this wisdom, you have to meditate, do your mantras, do Hansa Kriya and also report on the group. So we will see you later in the next video. Hari Om Tasat.